Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever thought that your mass, your Novus Ordo mass, was invalid? Maybe even a traditional Latin mass, based on what we find in this. Well, if you thought that, you're not crazy, and you're not just some rad trad, schis rad trad schismatic. You're actually of the opinion that the Archbishop of Kansas City has expressed. And we're going to go over some contents of a letter that he put out to his flock, where he expressed his worry that the masses offered in his diocese may have been invalid due to a defect in the wine being used in the Holy Sacrifice. Now, as this is a day of the week that ends in Y, we find yet another uh, vindication of Archbishop Lefebvre. And it is interesting uh, because this bishop recently um, came out, uh, there was a letter that was released from, uh, that with comments from his chancery office, I should say, under his approval, I would imagine, um, from Catholic Family News saying that this bishop did not believe the SSPX was schismatic and you could attend Mass there on the weekends and Sunday obligation and so forth, which Catholics understand if they're of goodwill, but nonetheless, there's still debate about it by a bunch of malcontents out there. In any case, this uh, same diocese has now put out a letter expressing the fact that um, Mass, the Masses that you may have attended over the years may have been invalid because of a problem with the actual materials. This was something Archbishop Lefebvre talked about in the 1970s and 80s. People thought he was crazy. It is now a mainstream position by a bishop, a conservative bishop, nonetheless. Uh, he's a conservative. He's not a progressivist. But nonetheless, a conservative bishop of the United States Catholic Bishops Conference has come out and stated pretty much the same thing that Archbishop Lefebvre warned about, which we're going to get to in just a second. But first, I'd like to thank our sponsors, the TKR Store. Report.com and visit the TKR store to see our new products, Kennedy's Choice Beard Oil. You can use this on your beard to help with alleviating itchiness, dryness, and irritation of skin. And don't worry, no animals were used in testing this product except for myself. Use Kennedy's Choice Beard Balm for a softer, healthier, manageable beard that is made with natural ingredients. And trust me, I know a thing or two about beards. Visit thekennedyreport.com and check out the TKR store. The links for this are in the description. So we're going to get to this letter here. This is from the Bishop of the Kansas City Diocese. And here's what it is. And it's from the pillar. And it says, The Archbishop of Kansas City has warned priests that they could be offering Mass with invalid matter and that they should ensure their altar wine is both free from additives and especially vinted for sacramental use. The Archbishop warned priests. He wrote to priests on May 31st to warn uh, that he had recently learned of parishes using wine that would invalidate their attempts to offer the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Quote, It has recently been reported by two priests having served in three different parishes that upon their appointment to these parishes, they soon discovered the long-term use of wines that were in fact invalid matter from the confection for the confection of the Eucharist. Let's just pause there for a second that the long-term use, what is that, a week, a month, a year, 10 years? How long was the previous parish priest there? 12 years? What's, how long is an appointment, depending on the parish? Long-term use of wines that were, in fact, invalid matter for the confection of the Eucharist. This means that at these parishes, it's very likely that they had invalid masses for maybe even a decade. I don't know. I'm speculating here. Ask yourself this. How many parish priests even know that you have to use the right, that, that wine that you get from the grocery store isn't good? How many priests know that? Okay. So how many places has this happened in the world, uh, in the United States? How many masses have been invalid, if this is true? Thousands? Hundreds of thousands? How many masses have offered every single day in the United States? How many masses offered every single year in the United States alone? How many of those were invalid? As a result, he wrote, in those parishes, for any number of years, all masses were invalid. This is so striking. For any number of years, all masses were invalid, and therefore the intentions for which those masses were offered were not satisfied, including the obli obligation pastors have to offer mass for the people. The bishop is admitting this is this like this is absolutely horrifying. 
This means that if you have been attending Mass in this diocese, specifically, and of course we are certain, I would bet my house, I would bet my possessions that this happens in other places. This bishop is a relatively conservative bishop. So I would imagine there's a tighter grip on liturgical things. He's very friendly to tradition. There's a lot of tradition in the Kansas City area, thanks be to God. How many places in the world are offering invalid masses? As he says, for any number of years, all masses were invalid. This is insane. He said, this is a gravely serious situation for which we must now petition the Holy See for guidance on restorative measures. This actually like makes me sick. You have been attending mass at one of these parishes or a parish like this, and I'm sure there are many. I'm sure there are hundreds of them around North America where they're using problematic material and you have not been receiving the Holy Eucharist. When you've been kneeling, this is not a fault of your own, you obviously don't know this, but you've been kneeling before a piece of bread and a cup of wine, which if you were aware would be idolatry. You obviously weren't aware, but what I'm saying is that's the logical reality of this. Wow. The article goes on and says, Canon and liturgical law stipulate that wine produced only from grapes can be used for the Eucharistic sacrifice. And it goes on to say, um, it quotes here from a Vatican instruction. It says, the wine that is used in the most sacred celebration must be natural from the fruit of the grape, pure and incorrupt, not mixed with other substances. It is altogether forbidden to use wine of doubtful authenticity or provenance, for the church requires certainty regarding the conditions necessary for the validity of sacraments, nor are other drinks of any kind to be admitted. And the reason for this, for example, they, they point out, and thank you again to the pillar for pointing this out, because this is very important information. Um, uh, they say that minute amounts of certain things, like a little bit of preservative can be in there, um, but other additives can render wine as dubious or doubtful matter. In Kansas City, Nauman noted that many commercially available wines contain additives such as elderberry extract, sugars, alcohol, etc., all of which could render the invalid matter, the wine invalid matter. Okay, so there's more information here. Um, and it goes on just to say, you know, how wine, whatever, and these are important facts, but the fact remains, my friends, that in this diocese, At these parishes, for years, as this bishop said, no mass took place. So let's just think about something for a second here. <laughs> Some people will say, well, you know, it doesn't constitute a grave reason just because you have to attend the Novus Ordo. Really? For people that don't want to go to their diocesan mass and they choose to go to the SSPX. Really? Here is a bishop who has presented information and is admitting that for a number of years, any number of years, he's like, any number, it could be 20, who knows? The masses weren't even valid. The priests were not celebrating valid masses. Catholics were receiving invalid sacraments. No sanctifying grace. And you have to ask yourself a question, and you know, this is a little bit controversial for people, but I really want you to consider this. The sacraments are real things. There's real sacramental grace available when we receive the sacraments. What would you expect in a church where invalid sacraments were common? You would expect to see a great decline in Catholic devotion and piety. Why? Because people would not be receiving the spiritual nourishment. They would just be running on their own steam. They'd be like Protestants, basically. They'd be going to Masses. The Eucharist wasn't valid. The Holy Sacrifice wasn't properly offered because of the deficient matter. They wouldn't have been receiving any sacramental grace because it's not there. It's not like a symbol. It's real. So the only graces they would receive would be, I mean, going to confession. Hopefully the priest is saying it valid so they'd be absolved of their sins. But they wouldn't be receiving the legitimate spiritual um, support through the sacraments to help them not commit the sins again. I mean, think about this for a sec. You know, traditionalists, and especially Mar Archbishop, Archbishop Marcel Lefebvre, which we're going to get to in a second, have been warning for years that the masses you are going to might not be valid. This isn't just some rad trad thing. This is a now an admitted thing by a bishop of an of a important diocese in the United States, a 
conservative bishop. This bishop, he's a fan of uh, John Senior, for example, which is an inc- who is an incredible Catholic author. I rec- recommend everyone read his stuff, and he was he was a great defender of Archbishop Lefebvre. Now, this is not some progressivist bishop. This is a conservative bishop with a diocese that is very friendly to Catholic tradition. And in his diocese, there is such dereliction of duty that for any number of years, there was no mass offered. That means these priests offering mass didn't even fulfill their duty to offer mass, which they're supposed to do as priests. So you ask these priests in these parishes to offer mass for the repose of your grandma. They didn't. It didn't happen. They did a service that wasn't even a Catholic service, or they did a service that was Catholic in, in form, but not in material, so it was invalid. I want to bring up here, here's something from Archbishop Lefebvre. And here's what he wrote about this situation. This is from the book, uh, Open Letter to Confused Catholics. You can read this online. Just look it up. This is on the FSSPX UK website. And he wrote... Then from being puzzled Catholics, you become worried Catholics. Is the mass at which you have assisted a valid, valid? Is the host you have received truly the body of Christ? And I want to pause here. Sometimes people will criticize the Society of St. Pius X because the SSPX will actually warn, and hear me out here, they'll warn that attending masses at Latin mass communities might might pose an issue. People will say, oh, that's crazy. It's the traditional mass. What's your problem? Because when you go to one of these parishes, you're using their substances. So if you have mass at a Novus Ordo parish, they give you the 3 p.m. slot on a Sunday, and that parish is run by Father Bob, who likes to use his favorite rosé that he mixes, you know, to make his sangria, if you go to one of these parishes and that's what's available, it doesn't matter if it's the traditional Mass because there's a problem with the material. <coughs> Excuse me. Often what you'll also find in these traditional Latin Mass communities is that they'll assume that the hosts in the tabernacle, which have been consecrated allegedly by the priests during the Novus Ordo Mass, are valid. But what happens if it's a parish like this? Again, or like these, not just this, these parishes, we know that this is not the only place. This is just what we're hearing of. And we know it was worse in the 70s and 80s because things were much worse then, liturgically. So how many traditional Latin masses offered by priests who are traditionally minded have been invalid in that situation? It could be many of them. I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it's, it's certain, but I'm saying it's very likely. And, we should, and, and if we believe, like Archbishop Lefebvre says here, being, from being puzzled Catholics, we become worried Catholics because we're worried if it's valid. This is not about hating the Novus Ordo or rad trad schismatic mentality. This is about something that's now admitted by a bishop of the Catholic Church of the United States. Archbishop Lefebvre continues, he says, It is a grave problem. How can the ordinary faithful decide? For the validity of a Mass, there exist essential conditions, matter, form, intention, and the validity and the validly ordained priest. If these conditions are filled, one cannot see how to conclude invalidity. Let's pause for a second. We do know there have been invalidly ordained priests, and this came out from a diocese, I think it was in Michigan, a couple years ago, where the priest never actually was baptized properly. He offered invalid masses. The prayers of the offertory, the canon, and the priest's communion are necessary for the integrity of the sacrifice and sacrament, but not for its validity. Cardinal Menzenti pronouncing in secret in his prison the words of consecration over a little bread and wine so as to nourish himself with the body and blood of our Lord without being seen by his guards was certainly accomplishing the sacrifice and the sacrament. A mass celebrated with the American bishop's honey cakes, of which I've spoken of, is certainly invalid, like those where the words of consecration are seriously altered or even omitted. I am not inventing anything. A case has been recorded where a celebrant went to such an extent of creativity that he quite simply forgot the consecration. But how can we assess the intention of the priest? It is obvious that there are fewer and fewer valid masses as the faith of the priest becomes corrupted, um, and they no longer have the intention to do what the church, which cannot change her intention, has always done. The present-day training of those who are called seminarians does not prepare them to accomplish valid masses. They are no longer taught to consider the holy sacrifice as the essential action of their priestly life. End quote. In any case, the point that I'm trying to make here is that this bishop 
has admitted. Again, let's look at this because this is striking. For any number of years, all masses were invalid in these places. This is really like, this is really, really bad. And you, if you live in a diocese where you don't have access to a traditional order, even if you do live in a diocese where you have access to traditional Latin mass, it behooves you now that you know this information. Go to the fridge. You can find this. You know, at our chapel, you go in the fridge. It's up there. It's sacramental wine. It's properly procured, whatever. Go and ask the priest to see the actual wine and read the label. And if there's a problem, go to the bishop. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be happening in thousands of parishes around the United States. Why wouldn't it be? Why do we have any reason to believe that it's not happening other places? You have to ask yourself, has the mass you've been attending been valid all these years? It might not be. And it's not just some sort of rad trad schismatic opinion to have that belief. This is now established fact by a bishop, conservative bishop of the Catholic Church in good standing in the United States. Again, as I said, it's a day that ends in Y. So we have another vindication of Archbishop Lefebvre. If you want to understand, my friends, how we got here, I recommend you check out my book, SSPX, The Defense. This is available in the description to this video. This didn't happen overnight. And there was a prophet crying out in the wilderness. And his name was Archbishop Lefebvre. And what he said was true. And like the scriptures tell us, I think it's in the Gospel of Luke, a prophet is not accepted in his own country. Archbishop Lefebvre was rejected and castigated because he was seen as too radical and so on and so forth. But in fact, he was just telling the truth. And every day that goes by, we see more and more that everything that he said that was seen as being too far was actually true. And it's funny, Archbishop Lefebvre, when he wrote Arch uh, the open letter to confused Catholics, he was talking about more of all the excesses that took place and the sacramental tra and the training of the, tra the, the training of the priests. But here is a very devious problem because it's not as if these bishops were using Coca-Cola. They just weren't even getting the right wine. Or these priests, not bishops, if I said bishops. This, is, this just shows you how much care needs to be put into the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Otherwise, when you're kneeling, you're kneeling in front of a piece of bread, which is idolatry. Again, you haven't committed that sin on purpose if you don't know. This is bad. As always, let me know what you think in the comments. This has been the Kennedy Report. Until next time, God bless.